exam videos. Now I'm going to teach you how to connect the sending card to the receiving card and the whole display. So we have hooked up everything. Now this is the power line, power line for laptops and for the center box. We have the sending card inside and we power up the LV cabinets with the receiving card at the back. Okay, so first uh, we we'll let to see you that this is like a connections and then first we go from the sending car. As you know the sending car we have the, as you can see we just place the sending car right here as this. We have the DVI, we have the USB cable and we have the RJ45. Now we since we're using a laptop and the laptop does not have a DVI, so we use the HDMI to we use the HDMI to DVI cable. So that's for DVI and then the USB cable. The USB cable is for the software to communicate with the sending card. And when we connect the sending card, we have to ch check the two places first. Red for power and the green for signal. So for the walking mode, it should be red light on and the green light blinking. So, if the green light is not blinking, we need to check for the computers. We open to the screen with solutions here. As we can see, the computer has detected the sending car as a monitor. Now we have set it at duplicate, duplicate and um, we can have it extended if needed, but usually if this one sending card is duplicate and we have uh, the resolutions the same and then we open LED Studio and we go to option software setup and input Linson the password 168 we have to make sure the display mode resolution here is the same as the LCD monitor Sorry. So it's all 1366 by 768 as you can see here. And it's set as duplicate. So this is one way and the other way we can see is from